So sophomore year it was uh, week three against New London is when I hurt my shoulder the first time. And then, so I was out sophomore year and then junior year came back and it was again week three. So it was week three back to back years. I dislocated my shoulder and I tore my labrum. So I had to get that fixed and it was about an eight month recovery process each time. It was, it was a lot harder the second time because when it happened sophomore year, I was still just excited to come back junior season. But once it happened junior year, it was just, there was really nothing to look forward to because I thought that my career would be over. Yeah, it was, it was a little devastating for us both. Um, you know, I, one, I was losing a really good player. Uh, he's one of our premier backs that was coming up. But two, I just felt more badly for him because this was only his third year playing football. Uh, when he got injured and it was sad to see it cut short because you know how much this game means to him. I was disappointed because him and I like we were the, t the twin towers is what we called us. Uh, we were like always back there. We were always in a group in uh, our sets. It was always me and him at running back. And it was nice because we knew what each other were going to do even though we hadn't played with each other for a very long time. I pretty much came to the realization me and my dad were just talking once we went to the doctors and found out that it was torn because like it's just high school football and it's a sport that I love but it's not, it wasn't worth just destroying my body over it. It was actually my dad's idea. He was, we were just sitting one, one day at dinner table and he was like, every team needs a kicker. And at first I was kind of like, I don't really know about it, but uh, I just, I missed the team so much and it was tough going to the games and having to sit out. So to be able to still uh, contribute and still be out there. And I, I really enjoy it too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, figuring out that he could come back and, and help us out in this aspect of the game. I mean, we were both absolutely thrilled and I don't think he's happier. I mean, I think he'd still like to go out there and hit somebody, but I know he's not gonna, you know, chance sacrificing his body and ruining uh, you know potential football career potential baseball career at the next level just to still be able to transition to kicker and still come out and play and contribute to the team it's a great way to still play but not have to just kill myself I started by just using YouTube just look to like get my fundamentals down and then um, I just, I knew I was far behind because most kids who are kicking and punting have been doing it for a while. But um, I picked it up somewhat naturally, but I, I forced myself to practice three times a week over the summer. Um, just go down to the field for about an hour each time and just work at it, work at it until, I mean, I'm still working now. There's still so much for me to learn, but I feel like from where I started to where I am now, it's just been a big leap of improvement. Reset. I never got a chance to come down and check him out to like late spring and then early summer. I saw him more after lifting. He would say he'd go do a good lift and then he would come down here and he would kick about 40, 50 balls. And he was making them consistently from 40 yards and uh, I thought it was great. So he was really excited and um, you know, he looked, he looked really good for a kid who's never kicked before. I think he did a fantastic job with it, you know? Uh, when I first started, um, I had like decent contact, but my accuracy was all over the place. And I'd say I topped out at like 30 yards, where now, like I realized like accuracy is way more important and uh, my max is up to 50 yards. The first game was good. We won 49 to nothing and I made all my extra points, so I was pretty pumped about that. And one thing that I really liked was that uh, six of my eight kickoffs were 50 yard plus, so just good to give our defense good field position to start. Can't ask for a better job for a first year kicker. Like I said, he played soccer beforehand, um, so I think also those skills kind of helped with this and just his kicking dynamics. Um, but he's done a fantastic job for us and it's given us a different part of the game that we didn't have before. We can utilize the kicking part of the game. You know, if we're down in the red zone, we can kick if it's fourth and five and we don't have to worry about trying to, trying to force one in the end zone. 
Like I think kickers and punters are a position that get very overlooked, especially in high school, where I think a team having one that can produce for them is very important. So that was just what I was trying to do this year. He just, uh, he leads by example. Uh, when, he, when he pipes up, kids listen because they know it's important. Um, he doesn't put kids down. He's very positive, he's very encouraging. Uh, but you know, he's always the hardest working kid in the room, no matter you know, what it is that we're doing. Whether it's grades, he's, he's over like a 4-0. He's always working hard in the classroom. He's always doing the extra stuff that we ask. He's always usually the first one here, last one to leave. Um, so like I said, he's a guy that leads by example and you can't ask for more than that. Um, you know, the young guys see him and they look up to him. I mean, they voted him as a captain. I wanted him as one, but you know, they voted him as a captain. That's, it gives credit to his leadership abilities and uh, the influence that he has on the younger guys and the older guys on the team as well. Like I know not many kickers and punters get to be a captain, but just that I wouldn't have came back if it wasn't for the group of guys that we have out here. Like, they were the reason that like, I practiced so hard in the off season to become good because I just wanted to do everything that I could to help us have a good year. He realized that he's doing a great job with that and we already have some college coaches calling and asking for him. So I think that's great because uh, it's quite a big turnaround from where his mindset was a year ago um, as to where it is now, thinking his football career is over, now he has the potential for a college career. There's a couple of schools that I've been talking to about kicking in college, but for right now, it's more about just being able to contribute to the team and make all my extra points and help get points and help with the field position game and just help us hopefully make a state playoff run this year. I can't thank the coaches, especially the coaching staff, like Coach Mason, Coach Murray, and all of them. Just, they basically told me after it happened last year that no matter what I chose to like come back or take a walk away from football, that they'd support me and still, so that made me feel really good, but I love being back. I'm sure he's glad to be back. We're all glad to have him back too. So we still have that one more field goal, field goal to get under the belt. Uh, you know, hopefully it's a game winner, uh, but you know, he's, he's, he's settled down now and he's, he's ready to kind of help us out for the next nine games and hopefully in the playoffs. So looking forward to when he makes that uh, first field goal attempt to win the game. Oh yeah, he's going to drill it. Let's go, let's go, family on three, one, two, three, family!